that, that kind of thing. Yeah, we need to um, have. That's what we're yeah, talking I mean, about. Really, making these bridges, these special. These lava bridges. Lava yeah. bridges to the moon. Yeah, and and I, you know, if you went at the walking pace, I, I'd say one person with a hose, even just a lava mushroom attached to all it the from way up, something so that they drill down, have, like these little spinning, um, heavy oh, things from. This fucking... You know what I mean? Spinning up your little um, centrifugal anchor, Surf. base anchor. You know, from the surface. <sighs> It. Orbital. Orbital, orbital friend, hop, skip, orbital. and a jump into space. No fuss. Catch the space elevator all the way up there. Kids loving it. No, I like, I like the idea of actually not the space elevator. Five hour but journey. The lava bridge. No, well, it, it, you know, it reminds me of um, uh, Final Fantasy games, like where How they have the, that's caused by the, usually an impact. Six, seven, but, eight hours to get to your geo um, sweet spot. Well, if you were trying to get to low Earth orbit, Day, oh, yeah. Like with a space, like what, like a hundred and something kilometers up. How long does it take you to like an hour? Sure. Just drive up hundred hundred k's an hour. Mm. Drive, Same. drive up in your car in an hour. Mm. You know? Held in place by magnets. Mm. Just drive your car. Sure. Up there. You know. So what I'd be interested in is like instead of like all of these like firing rockets, why don't we literally build the lava bridge mm. and just start building it up and 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 make like a you know like have a big arc of Earth sticking up out of Earth. Yep. And just walk up out of Earth. Just walk yep. up out of the gravity well. Just. Get on, make there, land. get up just there, you ain't. Get up there. Get on there, yeah. So, so yeah. it starts to look like a bit of a, um, a, true, a true babble. A true babble. A Beyblade. Yeah, Beyblade. You, know, you make Earth into a Beyblade, you know, like that's got the center bit. Yeah. And then you've got and these, these two arcs. The tensions that just this, pop this, out. Arc, yeah, they just pop launch out. Yeah. Like, that's, that's you get on the edge on the launch and walk. And just you just walk into space, space, man. Yeah. Pew. Yeah. Even have it like flexible so you can do your little jump and then hard bounce and then it flexes and then. Oh, oh really? So when you get right to the tip, yeah, you, yeah. You've, you've just traveled like the tip into space. 120 oh. k's or whatever up into the into orbit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Launch like a ton. The... Launch like a ton straight into space. Ooh. Bridge it into space. Bridge, bridge a ton straight into space. Mm -hmm. Well, you would. Because wouldn't that be easier? Surely just building. They haven't even been the same to have it come I mean, we build 100 like kilometer long roads. Tons just come in. Tunnels. Just land on it and then slide all the way down that pole. If you Earth, use. Earth, the... Earthworms want to be space worms. If you use the core of Earth, <laughs> would you have enough? To make a, a, a lava bridge to the moon. So I, it, that's getting very exciting. I think we're almost onto something there, aren't we? Just drain the core of the earth to make mm -hmm. a bridge to the moon. The excess. Yeah, yeah. toll. Yeah, yeah. Toll. Yeah. You know, you, you, it wouldn't be much. Like to get no. to the moon, I reckon you'd be like, How much, Si? Like a, the equivalent of the Earth's bee's dick. Oh. Whatever an Earth sized bee's dick would be, it'd be about that much, wouldn't it? You wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't be much at all you'd have to take to build, to get, give yourself a little moon bridge out of lava. <laughs> oh, massive. Earth's own mass ejection. Who cares about the sun's mass ejection? Let's is it 188,000 kilometers to the moon? Something like that. 188, Siri? 177. Is it 188,000 like kilometers to the moon? Spectacular mm. cooling spaces, create some bridges, you know, lava bridges. If you did, if you did that and you kept sort of running forward, you could mm. just make one into space. Well, ideally, you know, you'd want to beat the Eiffel Tower in size. You want it tall enough to. To be yeah, I mean, because like I'm just it, seeing. You want it to be suborbital, so you can get them. I'm just seeing like this lava nano, bridge, but get instead them of nano rockets into space, you, know? you, you just this. like start. You point it up and and and, and, and then just let it cool right as it fuses, mm -hmm. and then you just start running up the bridge that you've yep. made, firing ahead of yourself, <laughs> and just run into space on a lava bridge. You now I see like as it's just cooling and fusing in front. Win win. It's a bit Terraria almost, isn't it? Mm. As the Earth just squirts out, so you could yeah using the Earth to extend its own self True. into space, tendril, <clears throat> tendriling out. No, something's happening with the sun. Apparently, so I heard about it. The sun's had mass ejection. It heard about the idea of the. That's doing the kaiju number eight, <coughs> like pissing from its nipples, oh, kind of thing. Nipple pissings, of course. Nipple pisser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if it's gonna be milk, I want tiny giant milk. That's what this. I've been, I've been preaching sun today. Sun size, Pre squirting today lava. The, yeah, yeah. Super squirters. Can could you add to the earth by like mm. cutting off giant squirted lava bridges from the sun? You can just cut a piece off. And then transport it to Earth. Like by the time you get carbon, it cooled down, carbon gate. So cool down, and then you just stick it onto the Earth and just sort of steer it. Like you like you know like you like stick and just melt something to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit hot. A big, just a big stick lance. it into the Earth. Solar lance. Yeah. Just fuse it to the Earth, so you wouldn't have Oop. to waste any of the inside of the Earth on the Earth. Sorry about that. We're just gonna have to reclaim this territory. Here. It's a special solar lance. <laughs> well, sorry about <laughs> that, South Imagine America. What really sorry Imagine about what... that, South America. <laughs> Our apologies. You know, sacrifices were made. It was, a bit, it was closest like, to like the closest 200 to kilometer long yep. sphere into the earth, <clears throat> like melted it to it. Like the, the, the ro rotational momentum. <laughs> 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 just flinging out these giant solar fish hooks, just <clears throat> dabbing into the earth. Oh, earth just like whimpers and you know, wrenching. You know, like stop rotating on it. Squirting lava out its um, orifices in, in joyous, 
joyousness as the first hook gets tapped, Solaris gets its hooks in. Would I say, you know what? I'd say the Earth would tear apart. Would it, would, if you had a, something I with don't a, know. the sun don't flung know. out depend, a depend. massive long spear, mm -hmm. and then it was counterweighted by the sun, yep, yep. and it struck uh, into the Earth, flung and high speed, earth, this huge and, big and that thing like started to feel like, like the Earth was just <laughs> like it would just joy, rip itself of iron, apart. Carbon it? joy, what is it? Hydrogen something, solidified hydrogen. Maybe if the earth, maybe if the sun came out as two separate little things like a pincer and just it grabbed the earth, just just hold it. Snippets. Just, snippets, yeah, snippets. Just 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 right here. That one. Oh, that, that, that one again. Yeah. Grass is still growing fully natural in the backyard. Nat. Oh mate. Nat. Seriously. It's like it's like the um, like nineteen sixties <clears throat> um It is. It's like natural human. Freedom, behavior. freedom of love. 